Diana, you're wearing the same outfit that you wore in your new one essentials video. Yes, I know because I filmed them back to back. So don't judge me. Or judge me, I don't care. Anyway, so as you can tell by the title of this video, it's probably going to be a controversial one. This video is going to be... Actually, no, I'm not going to say that you can tell by the title of this video because I don't know what I'm titling this video. This video is going to be about sleeping, mom guilt, breastfeeding. That's a lot of stuff, you might say. You're going to talk forever, probably. So, you know, if you want to listen, welcome. If you don't want to listen, why'd you click my video? Why? 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 Okay, so we're going to talk about first is mom guilt. I have been suffering from very severe mom guilt, mom insecurity, mom questioning my motherhood skills lately because my son is 10 months old and still doesn't sleep. And I know a lot of kids, well, I know every single child is different and every kid has their own path that they're going to go down and every kid develops differently, you know, some quicker, some slower, whatever. But a lot of the kids around my kid are already sleeping. So it's like very difficult not to be like, shit, oh my god, sorry. But it's very difficult to be like, shit, why is my kid not sleeping? My kid's not sleeping, like I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it, okay, one thing at a time girl because this video is gonna be long, like chill. It's not helping me chill, it's not helping me chill at all. Okay, so basically, I, my son's 10 months old, he's breastfed. And a lot of my family members and friends have been telling me that the reason why my kid doesn't sleep is because I'm breastfeeding and because he's obsessed with my boob and he like has boob on his mind like 99 problems and they're all about boobs that's why he's not sleeping I disagree because I've read a lot of articles mom blogs I have a book that says that developmentally children don't really um, what is it that I'm trying to they don't their circadian rhythm is that how you say it? I might be talking, like, I might be saying it wrong, but that really their sleep patterns don't regulate until the age of two. And um, when you say that to somebody that's, like, not old, but when you say that to, like, a, your parents or people who are, like, 40, 50, that are Hispanic, they'll be like, Tú estás durmiendo desde los nueve meses, ok, así que yo no sé qué estás hablando, esos libros de... De hoy en día son una mierda, and I'm just like, mommy, okay. But that's what the book says. If you don't see Spanish, basically, like, what I mean is, I'm Hispanic, so obviously my family is Hispanic, so when I say that. Basically, whenever I tell anybody in my family that, you know, kids don't really developmentally regulate their sleep until the age of two, they're like, I don't know what you're talking about, you're a hippie, throw that book away, it's garbage. So it's, I feel personally, as a young parent, that people don't take me seriously when I say, oh, I read this article, I read this medical journal, I, you know, the American Academy of Pediatrics says X, because if you have Hispanic parents, you know what I mean. Like, they're like, I don't need no pediatric whatever. I don't need no journal. I don't need no doctors. I grew up in Cuba, and in Cuba, there was no electricity and blah, blah. And, like, they think they know it all. <laughs> Mom, dad, stepmom, you're watching this. Sorry, it's true. But y'all think you know it all. And it's like, life evolves and things change. And techniques change. So, as a mom, as a young mom, I'm, I feel sometimes very insecure in when I read something or I educate myself on something, when I share it with my family, they just don't believe me or they think that it's dumb or that I'm a hippie or that this and that. So, it's very frustrating. So that's, that's my mom insecurity. Jizz. Jizz? Oh my god. Gist. <laughs> of it which ties into the sleeping because everybody is telling me that my kid's not sleeping because he's breastfeeding and i'm just like what are you sure and i know in my mind and in my soul and in my heart that that's not true but it's very difficult to kind of stand your ground when you're the only one who thinks a certain way within the people around you and everybody around you is studying the same thing you know that saying this if everybody's saying 
this, then they, everybody must not be wrong. So, but it's like, I don't know, guys. Help me. Okay. This video is just very impromptu. I didn't plan this video. The reason why I'm making it is because for the past three nights, Lucas hasn't slept. And I don't mean like he's waking up frequently and like wanting to breastfeed frequently, but then we'll go back to sleep and then we'll sleep an hour. Wait, no, he has not slept. He has been crying nonstop for the past three nights. And he's either crying, hysterically screaming, or clung to my breast. And I don't mean like nursing, then drifting off to sleep and I can unlatch him. I mean like as soon as I unlatch him, even if his arm is like, you know, dead asleep, he will wake up and start screaming. And it's been very, very rough the past three nights. I've gotten no sleep. This is my second coffee of the day. I'm about to lose my mind. And I personally don't believe in sleep training and I don't believe in cry it out. If you do, I'm not undermining your parenting skills. Every family does what they feel is best for them. So this isn't about what other people do. This is about what we're doing. So I... I don't let him cry in any aspect of life. If he is upset, I will go to him because I firmly believe that children, you know, infants, children, taught any age of child, I believe that if they're complaining or crying, it's because they need something from you. And especially in the infant phase where all they do to communicate is cry, I feel like it's very, very critical in that you don't let them cry, you know, I personally can't bear to hear my child cry. If he's crying, he needs me, I go to him. So, you know, in the middle of the night, if he starts screaming, I don't let him cry. I don't let him cry himself to sleep. I don't let him self-soothe. He doesn't use a pacifier. He doesn't, and not because I don't let him, but because he won't take a pacifier and he won't take a lovey. And I've tried so many times to get him to like cling to a lovey, different toys, different little animals so that he can not self-soothe, but like if he wakes up and he needs to like, just gently rub on something he can put himself back to sleep with a lovey but he won't take it so the only thing that he wants in the middle of the night he wakes up screaming bloody murder is me so what am i gonna do you know so it's very difficult i in the sense that he cries i get him and i nurse him so i i do understand that i have let him develop a very very strong attachment with nursing for comfort and nursing to go back to sleep so I don't know how to get out of that I don't know how to go about it we have weaned a lot since he started daycare because he's obviously not nursing while he's in daycare so I pretty much during the week while he's in daycare I nurse him sometimes right when he gets home if he didn't have a snack at daycare and then not at all until bedtime but then I feel like he's like, oh, you got rid of me during the day. You think that's funny? Well, now I'm going to nurse all night. So it's like, I don't know. Basically, this video is about nothing and everything. I'm just, I just wanted to sit here and talk about my struggles because I feel that a lot of moms that breastfeed make it out to be just like this easy thing. And it's really not. It's really hard and it's very difficult to stop breastfeeding once you, once you already are and you're 10 months postpartum breastfeeding and then people all around you are telling you stop breastfeeding because you're harming your child or not physically but like emotionally I guess or like creating a habit it's very hard to just stop breastfeeding after 10 months of having that connection and just say okay well I'm gonna stop now like I don't know about you but I don't want to stop breastfeeding I don't know how I would stop breastfeeding if anything we've day weaned for the most part you know with the exception of the occasional snack time after daycare nursing session so I don't know moms dads whatever you know I just wanted to get it out there and kind of just talk without having anybody while I'm talking give an opinion that I don't want to hear <laughs> so yeah I don't know what else to say it's just hard you know on a walk in the park and whether you're a single mom or a mom with a lot of support around you from dad parents grandparents whatever it's still hard you know because really in the middle of the night when your kid wakes up he doesn't want dad or abuela or tia he wants mom and you you know it's beautiful but it's also very frustrating in that i don't know what to do sometimes so 
life's hard. Being a mom is hard. And for all of you moms out there that are that are being moms and breastfeeding or bottle feeding or whatever, props to you because it's tough. It's really tough. It's really beautiful, but it's really tough. So we all deserve like a two month all expenses paid vacation to the destination of choice. I feel kid free. Yeah, kid free. Definitely. This video is going to be kind of different in that it doesn't really have a purpose. I kind of just want to sit and chat with you guys about certain topics. If you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments. If you don't like this type of video, let me know and I won't do them anymore or as frequently. But I do feel like sometimes YouTube is a really great um, platform to just sit and express yourself and sit and talk and then just hopefully create a community of people that think the way that you do or that like to listen to you so I'm really just gonna talk and this video is is gonna be really real in the sense that I'm not gonna do much editing to it and it's just gonna be really me telling you guys what I'm feeling and what's going on in my life so again if you like this type of video let me know if not then I won't do them or, or won't do them as much and that's just a topic that I feel really passionate about and want to discuss but um, yeah I hope that you enjoy and I hope that I can connect with other moms out there that are in the same position as I am or were at some point in life. <sighs> you know? So here we go. <laughs> 